everybody, how are you? Hope wherever you are, you're having a great day. Well, once again, another month has come and gone, and it's time to talk about monthly favorites. So I've got a lot of stuff, so let's just get started. Okay, some of the things I will tell you, it's kind of hard to think back about what I've liked the most during the past month. Some things are very obvious, some things, you know, it's just like, okay, I use them on a percentage more than others. So let's start, let's start with hair care, even though mine is looking a mess today. I'm still using that Hura, Hura, however you pronounce it. Uh, it's a flat iron as well as something to curl. And I've been experimenting with it and today I just didn't go full on curl. And I'm one of these kind of people, either you go full on or you don't do it. And today I didn't and I think my hair just kind of looks not its best. But, oh well, let's talk about it. shampoo, conditioner. I really like the Sebastian Penetrate the shampoo and the conditioner. I've been using it for well over a month, month and a half, and my hair just feels so much stronger when I'm using this. And it just really works great. I gotta tell you, I'm a little surprised because I was on that cleansing conditioner or that conditioning cl cleanser kick, and this has taken its place, which I can't believe I'm saying that, but I really do like the Sebastian Penetrate. So much so that I even purchased the, this is the like um, more heavy duty conditioner, the leave, you know, the, you leave it on for a few minutes. What I've been doing with this though is once a week, I've been putting it on my dry hair, pulling my hair up in a ponytail and a knot, and then sleeping with it on my hair. And it just leaves my hair feeling soft and strong and much more manageable. So this Penetrate line by Sebastian has been really good for me. So if you're looking for something, this might be an option. I don't know, it may not work the same for you, but it's sure working on my hair. It feels great. So let's go two other hair products. It seems like it's been a hair month. And this is by Wella, and it's their, let me get the thing, Lux Oil Products. And this, you just take a couple of pumps Right it between your hands and put it all through your wet hair. And then you can follow up with the light oil. They're made to work together. They do not weigh your hair down, but boy, they just leave your hair feeling so silky and smooth and strong. And the fragrance from this one, oh my gosh, it is so nice. I love it. But I like these oils because they don't, because you know, some oils will leave your hair you know, flat and greasy and all that. I mean, that's kind of the way I look right now. But forgive me, but I do like these a lot. Okay, let's go to found. Let's go to skincare. I mentioned earlier that I really like the Foreo Luna. I am loving it. I've been using it daily. I am having, you know, good skin days from it. I'm not breaking out. My skin just feels soft smooth and clean when I'm done. And isn't that what we all want? So I do like this. Okay, makeup removal. I'm always trying different makeup wipes to see which one I like. And yeah, I've been using this Boots Number no. 7 Beautiful Skin Wipes lately. They're very nice. And in a couple of beauty I don't know, blogs, you know, from different magazines or something, they are talking about different makeup removers that are rated pretty high and you know the boots number seven gets a very high rating and I do like them. It just takes your makeup off, leaves your skin feeling clean without that residue and it, it just does what it's supposed to do and isn't that what we want? And they're not that expensive, bonus. Okay, let's go to foundation. I've been kind of rotating between two of them. The first one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I do like it. I'm not gonna say it's the most wonderful foundation in the world, but hey, I do like it. I like that it's more of a sheer to medium light coverage that allows your skin to still come through, but it makes your skin just look more perfected. Now, a drugstore foundation that I, I have been very pleasantly pleased with, and this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. It's more of a light, to medium coverage, but it just makes your skin look healthy. I guess that's why they call it healthy skin. But it's very nice and it's not gonna break the bank. And you know, 
when you're buying this kind of stuff, always look for if there's a coupon online or something or when the store is having a deal on it. So that's when I buy this stuff. But I do like this one. Okay, setting powders. There's one that I go to all the time because, you know, I'm, you know, when you're oily, you have oily skin most of your life, last thing you want to do is really shine. And this is, this setting powder, I think has to be one of the best on the market. And it's the Rimmel Stay Matte. It really does take down the shine. And it's just a great setting powder, plus the price. You can't beat the price. I, I will use this, I think, forever or until there's something that comes along that's better. But this just really does control the shine. So if you're worried about, you know, that shiny face, you know, oil and breakthrough, try this. And I think you'll like it. Two other powders that I've been using a lot this past month, trying to mix things up, not using the same things all the time. The Ben Nye Banana Powder. I know other companies have banana powders that are out there. This takes so little. I just use it to set the concealer under eye, and it's just really nice, very finely milled, and it just goes on very evenly without looking chalky or cakey or anything like that, but I do like this. The other one that I've been using a lot of times is this Neutral Set by Ben, uh, ben Nye. I do like his powders, I do like his makeup, and you know, you can go on Amazon and different places and see it, but check out the price. I have had this for well over a year, and I mean, it takes so little, and you can see how it's only gone down to there, and I use it quite often, but it just really does put a nice, smooth finish on your skin, and it does help like camouflage pores and things without looking cakey, chalky, or anything like that. So these two, Ben Nye has excellent powders. Okay, blush. I use this just over the top. It really doesn't have a lot of color to it on its own, and that's the physician's formula. This is a sexy booster in rose. I just like the nice little vanilla fragrance to it. You know, just as a light dusting on your cheeks. When the wind comes across, you'll smell it every once in a while. So it just is a good, good smell for a good feeling. But I do like this. The two blushes I've been reaching for the most, and this one I kind of forgot about. And this is the Tarte, this is Dazzled. It's just a beautiful, nice pink blush that just lasts a long time. It's one of their Amazonian clays. It is an excellent blush. You can use, you know, just a light hand or a heavier hand, depending on what you want. But I do like Tarte blushes. The other one is by The Balm, and it's Down Boy. I like The Balm blushes. I have all their in stain, their different blushes, their bronzer, powders, their highlighters, everything. Now, I purchased all of mine when the bomb was doing the 50% off, and hopefully you've gotten to take advantage of the latest one they just had, Cyber Monday, where it was 50% off everything on their site, plus 50% of the proceeds went to a local charity. So when you can get blushes for 50% off that are excellent and it takes so little, that's the way to do it. You know, you get a great product for you. For the price, you know, you're buying through a, a good company and then they're helping out a local charity. I think it's a win-win-win for everybody involved. But the Balm has excellent products. I think their packaging is actually cute and this little, kind of the, like the vintage and the paper packaging. Some people don't like it, but you know what? I don't really care so much about the packaging. I just want a great product inside. So I don't care if they just put it in just plain old plastic, whatever. If the product's good, I'm happy. Okay, I have dry eyes, and it has been an issue trying to find eye drops that really do help with my dry eyes situation. I had to go to an optometrist um, late in October, and she recommended the Sustain Balance eye drops. These have worked wonders on me. With dry eyes, I have had like allergy, you know, itchy. They felt like there was like for a lack of a better way to say it, my eyes felt the stuff, it just felt thick like Elmer's glue or something was in my eyes and they were itchy and, you know, red and irritated. And she recommended this eye drop and they have worked miracles for me. And I love it. I love it. They go in kind of a milky and she said it has like an oily base. I don't know. I can't tell. 
a, it's just, it goes in, it's like a milky drop, and then, you know, you blink a couple of times and everything looks fine, but I have not had a problem with allergy eyes since I've used these. Love them. Okay, one little lip thing, just for every day when you're doing like a BB, you know, type cream or whatever. I like this Nivea, and this is the um, Cherry Kiss Lip Balm. Nice little fragrance, gives you a little hint of cherry color to your lips and shine and their conditioning. Can't beat that. Okay, eye products. Um, mascara, the two that I really like are the Ico, and I've been using these now for about two months. This is the I Do, and this is the Black Magic. Both of them are excellent. This has kind of a, a big brush, so you do have to be a little more careful with it or you can get it all over the place, and this is more of a curved brush, but I do like both of these mascaras. They stay on my eyelashes all day without flaking or anything, and then when it's time to come off, they come off pretty easily, so I do like those. I've mentioned this before. I like eyelash primers, and the one that I gravitate to the most is Blink. This is the regular one. It's kind of a clear, milky color. I, they, they do have a black one, and I did purchase it. Urban Decay has a black um, lash primer. A couple of companies do. But I gotta tell you, I've purchased those, and they just don't work as well for me as the milky one. And, I mean, it's such a natural thing to think, why wouldn't they all make black eyelash primers? Because you're going to put black mascara or something over the top of it but they just don't seem to work on my eyes. Where the good old milky white one sure does. It's not quite white, but it's kind of a milky color on your eyelashes, so you have to really make sure when you put your mascara on that you're covering it all up. But this has just been an excellent lash primer for me. I like it. Okay, two eyeliners, Physician's Formula, and I think this is what the Lash Boost or something they call it. I like, I'm not good with eyeliners, I'm gonna be honest. Liquid eyeliners is not my best friend. But this one is very forgiving because it's more of a soft black. And you don't, it's not so harsh. And so you don't have to be quite as careful if it's not exactly perfect like some of the other ones. And this is supposed to have, you know, lash boosting, conditioning properties in it. So if it's good for your lashes, that's all a bonus. But I do like this one because it's just so easy to use for me because it's not my best at it. Now, this one, if you're looking for an eyeliner, the Laura Geller, this is the Eye Calligraphy. This is the blackest liquid eyeliner I have ever seen. It's very sharp little point to it. This stuff isn't forgiving, so you have to be very careful with it. And you need to use like a good waterproof eye makeup remover to get it off because it stays. It does not budge on me. I bet this thing could probably be used in a water line. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe I will. But this stuff, I mean, it's budge proof, it seems like, on me. So if you've tried it and you feel the same way, let me know. Or if you have an eyeliner that you like that maybe I should try, let me know. So but if you're looking for something that's the blackest black black I have ever seen, and that's this one by Laura Gillen. Mm. Okay. Um, let's see. Concealers by It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is just the little trial size. I bet this size will probably last me six months because it takes so little to use. It is so thick, so creamy, so pigmented that you just need very little. Excellent. The one I'm trying to get myself used to, and because I hear so many people thinking it's great, my first impression of it uh -huh, was the Benefit Erase Paste. It's more of a peachy concealer. Whenever I put a concealer on, you know, I want to dab it in, I let it set there for a while. I heard um, a female impersonator say, he goes, you got to let it cook. So you got to kind of let it settle and you know, work what it's going to do and kind of dry a little bit before you put your, uh, you know, your blending powder or whatever over the top of it. But I'm trying to learn to love this one because I know so many people do. Now, a couple more things and then we are going to be done. I had a lot. Eyeshadows. I went on a Black Friday, Cyber Monday binge when it came for all the deals that were going on. But this one I've had now for well over a month, and this is the Stila 
and this is the Eyes Are the Window Shadow Palettes, and this is in Soul. It is just beautiful. I've heard some people say they don't really like these, but I think they're so blendable and creamy and pigmented and just so easy to work with. They have four different palettes. You know, I used to use Stila years ago, and then it seemed like their quality kind of went down. I don't know if the company sold or what happened, but now it seems like they're getting back on the path that they were quite a while ago. But I think this is just a beautiful, neutral palette. I think it's just pretty, and I like it a lot. I've been wearing it a lot. And then the other palette is one that I've talked about before, but you make it yourself, and it's by Inglot. And right after Thanksgiving, I think it was Cyber Monday, they did like 20, I don't know, some percent off. So I bought my extra ones that's going to fill in here, and I'm going to get those, I think, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But if you have not tried Inglot Shadows, it is definitely worth trying them. I've read articles about some of the products that you should try at least once in your lifetime, and this is one of them that they recommend. It's kind of like a cult favorite. These shadows, I mean, they're not cheap when you think about it, when you talk about other palettes. They are normally $7 each, but they have colors and such an array of assortment, variety. It's unbelievable. Some Macy's do carry these. They do have a website and you can call them and they're very happy to help you with it. But these shadows are just unbelievable. They are so easy to work with and blend and build. I mean, they're just pigmented. They're every adjective that you want in an eyeshadow. I don't know how else to say it, but they are just beautiful. So I can't wait to get my rest of it, and then I will share with you my whole palette and what I've got. Last two things are not about beauty on the outside, it's about beauty on the inside. Chia seeds. Yes, these are the chia seeds that you probably heard growing up on those commercials at every Christmas, you know, chia chia chia. It's the pottery that grows. These things are excellent. I mix them into my yogurt, um, smoothies, put them on my salad, I throw them in my scrambled eggs, whatever I want, whatever I'm eating that I want to have more fiber. Because these little guys, they puff up to like nine to 10 times their size when they absorb water. So they're very filling and you know they're high in fiber. Now, one thing you have to do is you must check your teeth after you eat anything that has chia seeds in them, because otherwise they fit perfectly between the teeth. So have your floss, you know, have your toothbrush or whatever ready, but because you will all of a sudden walk up and, and they'll be black in every teeth. They just fit perfectly. But I do like these. They are worth a little extra effort just because of how good they are for your high in omega-3s. So they're really good for us, but try them. And the last thing, I have been just eating the heck out of these things are these bean and rice and cheese burritos. I get them at Costco's. And I just love them. They're only like 250 or 260 calories. I just, you know, nuke them for three minutes, put them, you know, on a big plate. I put a little bit of shredded cheese on top. And then I take a mixture of um, black beans drained and rinsed with some brown rice and corn, you know, mix it all up together, heat it up, put that over the top, put some lettuce, tomatoes, and salsa. And I mean, it makes this huge dinner, lunch, whatever, without a lot of calories. And that's what's so good for it. And the black beans are so good for you, very high in fiber. So I love these. Being a vegetarian, you know, you're always looking for things. Well, let me tell you, for Thanksgiving, this is what me and my mom ate. Just what I just explained to you with pumpkin pie. So we had our bean cheese burritos with the mixture and everything on top. And then we had pumpkin pie afterwards. So my mom thought it was great because she's a vegetarian too. So that's the favorites for November. I know this was a lot. I tried to go through it as quickly as possible. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you do so sometime soon. And for those of you who always subscribe, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you and your support that you give me. So until the next video, I wish you all a great day. Take care. And if you have any suggestions on things I should be using, I would love to hear from you. So until the next video, bye-bye.